Anybody? Any questions? Yes, Alan. Yeah, I'm representing you. Are you representing you? Okay, Yes. Emptiness of someone who has passed on. Emptiness of someone who has passed on. Yeah, I thought the person was still in the room. Is that the second? Huh? Is that the second? Is it categorized as the second? Yeah. I don't understand question. Somebody who has passed on. Yeah, I thought the person was still in the room. Ah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the second kind of negative. Because that person doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Yes. Hold on. No, hold on. The person is not there anymore. It should be the second one because the third one is some missing of something impossible. Yeah. So it should be the second one. No, I don't think the third one. Third one is something impossible. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, you see, we need to think this way to uh, sharpen our, our mind. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rick. Yes. Why is it not the third one? Ah, why is it not the third one? Why is it not the one? It's really impossible that it cannot be alive. Okay, we are talking about being alive, being not alive, being impossible, right? Um, okay, the essence of the third negative is more of the impossibility of that to happen. But somebody who is not alive, it is something possible. That person was around and then no, now not around. So that person is not something impossible. Actually, to use the DCI term, the third kind of impossible is the missing of things that is coming from its sides. If we use this definition, a lot of DCI people will understand directly. Yeah. So that person who has passed on, if we think that that person is coming from his side, then yes, we can consider that as the third one. Yeah? But if we understand that that person who passed on is also coming from our seats, and now he has passed on, then it should be number two. Yeah. So depending on how we look at that person. Yeah? Yeah, so let me repeat again. Eh? If it is with regards to something that we think coming from its own side, then it is number three. My business failed because economy is uncertain. Economy is bad. That is the number three. Because we think that economy is the economy, the bad economy is coming from its side. It just happens to make me fail. Uh, that is the number three. Okay, don't worry. I mean, it's not easy. Um, things are right. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you come to our study groups more and then if you can come to our workshop, uh, you will be able to sharpen in this area. Now it sounds very confusing, but a lot of veterans here, if I say the missing, the number three is the missing of thing that we think comes from its side, uh, then it's easier to understand. Yes, Alan. Uh, I'm thinking like the third, the third portion, right? Is it? I imagine this. Imagination, does it belong to the third category? Actually, simply say it, almost all the negative that we can think of is number two. Is number two. Number three is basically things that are impossible, things that are coming from its side. The pen that is coming from its side. When you say impossible, I mean, because when you imagine things like, for example, I imagine I'm a, I'm a I'm in Mount Everest right now. So uh, this is considered... Still number two. Still number two. Still number three. Yeah. Okay. Our reference is always, it is coming from its sides. Yeah. yeah, that is our reference to make it simple. Let's say uh, Rachel make it angry. Let's say, yeah, we are good friends, but let's say she make me angry. And in my heart, I am very angry with her because she purposely made me angry. So when I think that this person
person who is purposely making me angry is coming from her, she purposely make me angry, yeah, that is considered the third kind of impossible. Because when we understand the past story, even an angry person should be coming from my seeds. But if I think that it is coming from her, she is born inherently to make me angry, then that is something impossible. Yeah? And then, when I wish her to be missing, <coughs> to be not to be here, then that is the third kind of the negative. Wow! Oh, don't put hand very high. Can okay, Ellen? <coughs> and a question to ask. Yeah. Two questions. Yeah. Uh, teacher can help me to filter which category it belongs to. First question is, I'm not really that bad. Okay, okay. So that one falls into two or three? <coughs> one. Okay. I have got so, something. So my mother uh, don't like me. Okay, you need to have more. My mother don't like me because... Okay. Um, my mother don't like me because... She, she, she finds me troublesome. Ah. So that, that part will be forced on to category. What do you think? Three? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Jenny, can you hear me? Three. Can you hear me? Okay. Can okay. you okay. I think the uh, majority of you can get it. Huh? Majority, yeah. But don't worry if you are still confused. You can ask some more questions. <laughs> Or uh, you can visit our study groups and understand more. Yeah. This is something uh, very important to understand. It is not easy. But the fact that you are here today, you already have a very good start. In fact, I can say you know much more than the average people out there. Yeah. By knowing the three kind of negative, by knowing the kind of space that we are referring to as part of the diamond world that we should touch, you are way ahead of the majority of people there. Because you simply have the Kelwa. Can you say Kelwa together? Kelwa. Kelwa. Should it should be Kelwa? Kelwa. Yeah. Kelwa. 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 Can you lend me your pen so that I can use it to write? And I need a cup of my coffee. To <laughs> it's not, it's not kel, but kel, kelwa, kelwa. The ear to hear, the ears to hear. In uh, in uh, Bible, Jesus was teaching also using lots of uh, uh, metaphors and. Uh, he was talking about sowing what you reap, reaping what you sow, reaping what you sow, right? And in one of the verses he did mention, only those who have the seeds will get to listen to my teaching. Yeah, yeah. Even in Bible, Jesus mentioned that. So, again, I would like to congratulate all of you to be here. Yeah? I cannot stop congratulating all of you. Now, next question. So the okay, the negative you get it okay. Uh, hi teacher. Um, I have a question about the things that does not change, which is a space. The space that does not change. So for that space here, if if I'm not here looking or perceiving it, does the space still exist? Good question. In fact, in the ancient literature, there is a question about if in the deep forest of Amazon, there's a tree that fell down. Nobody is there to see the tree falling down. Can we say that the tree really fell down? Ah. Yeah, we say that we need to see it. It has to come from our seeds to see the tree fell down. 
But if nobody in the Amazon forest to see the tree fell down, can we be sure that the tree really fell down? How do you answer that? How would we answer that? Very good question. I like that. Which brought me to the point that Geshe Michael always tell us in the translation class, a bit how yet, <laughs> is that to become a teacher, or rather if you go to, to become a teacher, it's just like when you go to a dollar store, you know, in the US they have this one dollar store, everything is one dollar. In Japan they have a 200 yen, or 100 yen store. Yeah. Singapore has Daiso, Daiso, but Daiso not everything two dollars. If you go to a hundred dollar store, you should bring a hundred dollar bill. Means what? You need to be able to spend more than what you think you need to spend. Meaning that if you, I am teaching level seven, if I'm doing a public talk on level seven, I need to have enough knowledge to cover interesting questions here. <laughs> And luckily, I bring enough money to the dollar store. <laughs> so, all of you who aspire to become teachers, and in fact, Asian Michael encourage everybody to become teachers, is to prepare this, to learn as much as you can, to use as much as you could, to apply the principles so that you can give the correct instructions and answers. So, how do we answer Junian's question? Mm, okay, now, let's step back and think are there things that we can't see yeah like air yeah air we can't see but is air exist yeah there are there beings that we can't see maybe yeah so does it mean that if we can't see them they don't exist no so, can we say that there are beings that we can't see but they exist? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are there beings higher than us yes. that we can't see? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, to answer these questions, although we are not physically there, but there are beings beyond us who can see more than us, and the fact that the tree fell in Amazon forest must be visible to those beings. And because of that, the tree did fall in the Muslim forest. Yeah? Clap la. Yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah. Next question. Come, something, something easy la. Or even something difficult. Come, come. We still have time. If not, then I would like to do some promotion. Promote, yeah? um, this uh, level 10, I know a lot of people have registered for level 10. I know a lot of you have bought the ticket for level 10.